Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about uh, playing in the first position and a lot of people avoid playing in the first position but it's actually a very cool um, way of playing harmonica and uh, I, I like playing in the first position personally I yeah I would yeah even in jazz I mean it's uh, well you can't really say it's the f first position it's playing the on the harp which is the same key as the song is uh, and that might be the definition of, of uh, the first position actually yeah let's stick with that and uh, you have a lot of videos on, on, on how to play blues in the first position um, the many guys who, who did uh, wonderful lessons on that uh, yeah so there's the there's the traditional ways of playing blues in the first position and it's mostly based on the on how harmonic players used to play in that it's like this uh, doing the like the lower register and the high register for 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 the um, for the blue scale so the problem with the first position is that you don't have all the all the notes you would otherwise have in the second or third position so you need the overblows to get the blue scale and it's not that easy for the most part of the harmonica so that's why um, harmonica players tend to stick to to the either of the ends of harmonica so to say and um, you notice that in the lower register they use uh, they, they tend to people just uh, substitute the uh, the f uh, the minor third that would be the overblow on hole number one for the major third which is perfectly okay if you're playing the major blues instead of um, so the first thing that comes to my mind is you do this in the lower register you can actually do the same thing uh, in the middle register So doing the five draw, five blow, and then going to four blow. Uh, now there's one thing you can do. Um, well, it's kind of obvious you can do it in the upper register too. Um, but what you can do is also play uh, the major pentatonic scale, uh, which is very easy in the first position. So you can do this thing. Um, you can arpeggiate on the tonic chord or the root. Yeah, the tonic chord that, that is the term, I guess. So on the first, on the one chord, so to say. And you can play with that uh, sixth and seventh. So if we go back to the pentatonic scale, there are a couple of uh, things you can do with that to spice it up. So even include bends. So you can use the passing notes. So let's say we're in the middle register. You have passing note between the sixth and the fifth. On, so that's on the whole six blow and draw or draw and blow. And the same goes for uh, the lower register. Yep. Other thing there is there is um, another passing note between uh, between the root note and the um, major second. Yep. So. I'm going to I'm just going to leave out the upper register for now because you can find a lot of videos on that. If I said that you can uh, do the pentatonic or major pentatonic scale on the one chord, what do you do on the four chord? You can do the same. So you have a F major pentatonic if um, we are in key of C, if the blues is in key of C. So the four is F. So 
so you have the you have the scale uh, be careful now on the forward you have to avoid the five blow and um, two blow uh, because they are these are uh, um, the major seventh of, of the four chord so they won't sound good so if you think about it, it is actually uh, minor pentatonic in the third position right and you can make a blue scale of that so you have this thing you can do on the four chord and uh, the fifth chord is uh, actually very easy to do is our second position Or you can do the mixolydian scale. You know what to do on the second position, so the, I'm not going to get into that. But let's go to that four chord, for example. Um, a neat thing you can do, um, similar to the second position thing. Another thing, that is this thing, um, you're not on the seventh chord, on the dominant chords, uh, you're not supposed to do the, the major seventh because uh, the chord itself has the um, minor seventh. So for uh, the first position, the one chord, which is on the harmonica C7, has uh, this B flat. So you don't play the you don't play the unbent um, three draw uh, is a kind of no go but you can do that if you use it as a passing note you remember in second position you have that on the second whole draw so you can do that the same the very same thing on the three hold draw so you have like yeah that's a pretty cool thing to do um, not many players use that so also you have chunks of the blue scales uh, in the lower register but missing the uh, minor third. So that's it for today. Uh, maybe see you in another video on maybe another position. If you like the video, please subscribe, share, like, uh, comment. Tell me what you would like the lesson to be on maybe. Yeah, so see you.